Hello and welcome back to KYD. So many people have been looking forward to this episode and I know why, because we went off to the RV California show. It was gigantic, huge. It was so much fun. And completely amazing. <laughs> so we were like, how are we going to break this down? So we came up mm -hmm. with five fifth wheels and we went inside of these gorgeous <laughs> fifth wheels. Well, you'll we see. We to bring you with You'll us. see, the family we got a little excited about, about <laughs> these fifth wheels. So uh, if you're new to the channel, then click the subscribe button because we release a new video every weekend of our travels across North America and then occasionally some how-to and some Q&A stuff during the week. But, but this season is season four and we are doing the Southwest and we mm. are so excited to share it with you. But for right now, let's just jump on over to California and get to the show. Come with us. This is the setup. This is this is it. This is I'm going. Okay, so this is definitely one of our toy hauler options, right? Yes. Because we have our first rig to feature Forest River Cardinal, 42 feet, 17,000 pounds rear living room, absolutely gorgeous. Equipped with Wi-Fi Ranger and all. <laughs> Residential fridge. They have an ice cube maker in the thing. Come here, come here. The finishing touches are Gorgeous. The kid, I think the kids would be okay with just sleeping in the bed with us. I, if the, we walked away with the it reaction. Right now. The reaction <laughs> of the kids to this fifth wheel. Oh I don't know if we can go back to gender. Look at this. They, they have buttons on the side to recline the chairs. Caleb in there. He's doing. He's doing pillow angels. What do you think? Wow. Dad, come look at this. Oh, I mean, how dumb are we? <laughs> How dumb are we to bring them to an RV show? It's beautiful right down to the paint. It's got one, two, three slides. I love the finishing touches, even on the outside, like the ladder that goes up and the rear lights. Uh, even the storage, I think Caleb was impressed with the storage lockers. It's so satisfying. <laughs> like oh yes, well and Tori climbed in the closet. It's a closet. <laughs> I fit in it. <laughs> Why did we walk into $114,000 uh, fifth wheel to start? I don't know, because we're crazy people. <laughs> and you were like, oh my gosh, I gotta get out of here. My my world will never be the same. Yes. This is my dream, because dad spends half an hour saying, Trish, is it level? And but then, this whole Cardinal by Forest River situation, yeah. we, that's the luxury. I okay. think we checked luxury right out of the gate. Did we? And they, they um, showed us that there's a bunkhouse one over there. So let's just see their little bunkhouse. You bunk just house. check out the bunkhouse? Just, you know, for kicks. Why not, All right? right? And then we'll go over and check out maybe Grand Design Toy Hauler. Yeah, we definitely want to do that. This one back here, this is the Cardinal Explorer. It's another Forest River product. It's called the Explorer. It is a bunkhouse. And it has some pros and cons. It did. The downside for me is that there was only one love seat. So that means only two people can sit together. Mm -hmm. Then there's the kids' room. That's a total bonus. Oh my gosh. Hi, Carson. Hi, Caleb. Does this thing pull out? This is so comfortable. Here's the bathroom. <gasps> okay, well, <gasps> this. They put a faucet off to the side so they can make the sink bigger. Oh, that's nice. Yes. And then this is flush and small so that you don't like hit your head while you try to wash your face. The kids room is a super bonus because the whole thing closes, closes. off. But even that's a downside because that means Tori has to share a bunkhouse with the boys. She's like, ah, uh, guys, there's not a third bed. Yeah. And then we said, well, that couch folds out. And so there's actually mm -hmm. three beds in there. She's like, ah, uh, no. Look at this, like a place to put things. I mean, I don't know what you put here, but it's just nice to feel like there's space. You, you mean you, like can... you could really come here and feel like you have your own space. Why would anyone? <laughs> want to travel around North America in an RV and feel and want your own space. <laughs> I don't know. We're like this. Oh. Like this. I like a like, trailer. Like this. Look at the bathroom. So we'll just switch to this one. Oh, wow. Look at that. Yeah. The mirror's yeah. flat. Oh, also smart cutting boards as covers instead of a big plastic piece that you don't have anywhere to store. This is great. 
a bunkhouse, but not a toy hauler. So it's kind of nice, so it's all enclosed. So I would say this would be ideal for someone that has maybe two kids. Two kids. Or maybe three younger kids. Yeah. That's a big deal. Yeah. But it also weighs 16,500 pounds. So you're going to have to get, you know. A big boy truck. Yeah, to, to haul that thing around. But anyway, it's long. The, the model is 3,800, but I think it's probably closer to 40 or even 40 plus overall. I'm really interested is getting over into the toy hauler area and maybe getting I want to see two amazing toy haulers today. Well, Forest River does have a toy hauler. It's called the XLR or something close to that. Yes. And then also Grand Design has their Momentum 35. All of our children are in different RVs <laughs> everywhere. We lost them all. Yes. They're all checking out different aspects of each one, but the one behind us is the 351. Grand Design Momentum. It is a toy hauler. It is beautiful and well laid out. Okay, we are inside the 35 foot Grand Design toy hauler. And I must say, I'd be interested to get Trisha's thoughts. My thought is, there's no comparison. What do you think? No comparison. Let me just put my feet up. Yes, and get a massage. Mom, huh? would you like a massage? Yes. I'll really? be with you in a moment. <laughs> And I know a lot of it has to do with just how well the layout is, but also the design. Just the color palette I think is really cool. I don't know. It's very calming. I do like the open layout, and I like that we can all hang out in the same space but not be on top of each other. It's a choice whether you have a queen or a king. But I think this is a queen, and it seems like it gives you a lot of room. Look at this. So we each get one of these. I get all your drawers. I get all of this. <laughs> ah, but there's like space by the bed. There's an actual place to put something down. This kind of reminds me of a sailboat. You can put books and things in here, magazines. I think. Let's do the wash your face test. Oh wow, you can actually put your face in the sink to wash your face because this is shallow. But yet there's still a ton of room. Very, very tall people can come and take a shower here. Totally set up like a little buffet here. Have dinner with friends. Look at all this massive amounts of storage. I could actually have things like toasters and blenders. <laughs> There's a glass cover over the stove. Oh, look at this. Stereo. I was telling Tori, serious movie night could happen here. Look at a glass foldable cover. Glass cover over here. You can still see out. You like it, Caleb? Yeah, can I get a hand? Look at this fridge. <laughs> An RV like this, the Grand Design, is going to have the onboard generator that runs off of propane. And that, I think Trish just found the pantry. I didn't realize there was going to be a whole other pantry even after all of that. Well, That's Trish, if it's more than you need. And up here, we've got the loft, which I've already heard good reviews on the loft. It's so spacious up here. At least from the boys. Oh, it was so good. I think the boys are sold. Let's go into the toy hauler section. And then the second bath. Very nice. The boys never need to come in my bathroom again. I also see that there's hookups here for a washing machine. Washing machine. Then the thing I really like is they've got these chairs down here that fold out into beds, and then there's still a queen bed up there. So our idea is that we could set these things up to hold all five bikes, and then the bikes are out of the rain. What do you like about it? I, what I like about it is that it's probably our next rig. <laughs> That's what I like about it most. Way to give away. We've looked at them all. I don't know. I'm partial to Grand Design. I know you are. I think, I think the reason is there's so many people within the community of KYD that are part of Grand Design. So, yeah. And what I really like about them is that they make they only make trailers. Well, they make quality product. They make and quality And you can product. tell when you open doors and you pull out drawers and all that. And one of their taglines is um, customers for life. What did you like about this particular trailer? The layout. Yeah. I mean, I like the half bath which comes in the 35. The 34 mm -hmm. does not have the half bath. The half bath is essential for us. Well, if you're gonna go bigger, it's nice to have a place for your kids to. You're I might send you, that might be the boy bathroom. Yes. Tori and I might have the front bath uh -huh. all to ourselves. <laughs> oh, so I'm back there with them. Yes, And then yes. the outside shower? Yes. Okay, good. Yeah, this oh, is coming it's along. It's a good talk, it's a yeah, good talk. Okay. okay, so we're looking at, I didn't look at the specs here, but I'm guessing it's somewhere around 16 and a half, 16 and a half thousand pounds loaded. It's got that generator, onboard generator, generator. 
how gorgeous is that generator? I didn't think that as my life progressed, I would think things like onboard yeah. generators, mm -hmm. um, half baths, all mm -hmm. these things would be so beautiful and wonderful. Yes, yes, yes. Anyway, but then it also still has the double axle, which you like, because I think we've decided we are not going to go over 35 feet, even though that's probably 38 feet overall. We are losing our children fast. Okay. They need food. Behind us is a 37 foot grand design solitude. Okay, behind us is a second home. That is Behind, don't phenomenal. Go, do not go in that thing <laughs> unless you're willing to ruin everything. Okay? Yeah. Right. Yeah. Am I right? Push I'm all sorry. the chips to the center of the table because you are in. <laughs> I wish I could take back what I saw. <laughs> Double sinks, closet, walk -in washing. Closet. Yes, walk-in walk -in closet. closet, washing machine. When do the when are the kids when are we empty nesters again? <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> Thing. Well, actually, I don't really know what the specs are, so I took a little. I took a little video of the front sheet. I know it's 37 feet long. I don't know how much it weighs. Um, I know that because it's not a toy hauler, it does not have the onboard generator. But that's something you can add. Mm -hmm. But what it does have is everything else. <laughs> Absolutely beautiful. Not to mention a gorgeous paint job. But the thing I think I like the most is it has this massive outdoor grilling patio that rolls, rolls out. out. Is that not the craziest thing? You know what? We could make that a bunkhouse. We could. Call it a day. We could. Yeah, you think they'd all get along down there? Who cares? This thing is amazing. Probably very comparable to... How do you reach up there to change your air? You don't have to. You just say, I want to be colder. We have the island. More cooking space. I love these windows. Pop-up TV. And then I've heard only great things about these little fireplaces. I thought, who needs that? And then everyone told me, no, no, no. They push out a ton of heat and they're awesome for cold weather. And then big, huge windows. Like, if you're in Alaska, you want to see Alaska. If you're by the ocean or lake, you want to see it. And those windows, you will. Okay. Ready? Yep. Welcome. Wow. You want to see the best part? Oh my gosh. I'm in the bathroom of this Grand Design Solitude wow. and I cannot even believe it. I'm gonna go get Trish, I'm gonna bring her in here, and then I want you to re I'm gonna record the reaction to her face when she sees this bathroom in closet, okay? <laughs> this has gotta be a joke. There's two sinks. This is ridiculous. Check out your closet. Backlight. This is a closet. <gasps> Ginger, I loved you. That's ED. <laughs> look, look, look. Look at the ball. Oh my goodness. This is phenomenal. Look at this is a full walk in closet. With shoe rack. With a shoe rack. And washing machine dryer hookups. I don't know why more rooms don't do this. Put the bed this way, and then you have all this room on the side. Yes. What I really like is the fact that there's two little seats here in the master, so you can actually put your shoes on. Yes. This, this, is this thing is amazing. Oh. Yeah. It's a second bath, half bath for your guests because you know your two sinks up there don't need to be disturbed. And then your pantry shelves, you can move them anywhere you want. We need to eat. Okay. Bad. We All need right. to eat bad. So we need the to go boys back are at the Ferris wheel. Let's pick them up and then get some food. All right. Well, we're back to Ginger just to take a little break and get and get some refreshments, and I think she must have heard us because it's not unlocking. <laughs> She's mad. Feel much better. Feel good? Yeah. Shorts. Shorts. Good call. I have one more thing to do, and that is to find our ultra-light fifth wheel. And I'm sure there's one in there that I'd like to take a look at. We are cool. in a, I believe, Chaparral light. I looked on the side, it was about 5,000 pounds, 11,000 max. Yes. And it's a fifth wheel bunkhouse oh, with look. five, a couch for it's five. Unique. Dad, mom? Not bad. Pretty awesome. If you got to have, I mean, like, I think, I think, I think our truck could have easily pulled this, and I think if we yeah. would have really known, of what course, we I don't know what this costs. Yes. We wanted to get into something right away. Well, I love the light and bright airiness of yeah. it. Yeah. Excuse me. Right, let's need go to show you around. Let's go show you around. What it weighs and how much it is, but big, huge windows. Big. I mean, man, there's some things. There's some things we. Far. There's some things we really have oh, identified that we like. 
windows. Big windows. Big windows. And I know that's more of, other than an Airstream, that's more of a fifth wheel thing than a travel trailer, but windows are important. And weight is important. And then of course some other stuff. But I'm thinking the big boys are liking the bunk. What are doing? Come in. Hi. Come in, this come in. We're having a family retreat. You know how Caleb and I like to sleep in? Yeah. Two, one. Oh wow. And look at where we are. Look at all five of us are in the back bunk area. Right there. Right? And the sink is nice. What's this? Oh, wow. Very nice. Not bad. Two entries. I'll follow you. Look at this. Queen bed. You still have a little nightstand. And some storage. There's a closet right there, too. This is a slide. This seems to be the thing right now. This full slide out kitchen. Little grill, you have everything you need. It was definitely impressive. I'm glad we took a look at it. As we always have said before, when it comes to your first rig, you get whatever you can possibly get into to do it quickly. So you can be on the road. Be on the road. Because you're going to learn so much in the first right. year. You will learn so much. You'll learn a lot, and then you'll learn how you RV and the things you like and, and the things you, you don't like. And then you can invest some more money into it. But um, yes. you remember, RVing is not the hobby. Why you bought the RV is the hobby. Yes, exactly. Yeah. Okay, there you have it. Those were the five fifth wheels. And when I was looking through the footage, I was like, wow, I really needed more footage of those fifth wheels to like show everyone. But that was the first time we really recorded a show. And as you can tell, we were so like... We were inundated with information. <laughs> so we hope that we broke it down enough for you to get a lead on what you like and go to the site and find mm -hmm. out more information yeah. on those different rigs. But uh, if you have not been to an RV show, it's such a great opportunity because all of the rigs are sitting right there side by side. And, and all the cool things that go along with rigs, yeah, right? Yeah. So like anyway. all the exhibits and all this stuff like exactly. that and whatnot. So definitely, if you, I mean, even if you're not in the market, go go check it out because it's a lot of fun. Um, okay, real quick about the fifth wheel. So I think now we pretty much know what it is that we're looking for. Oh, we know what we like, but we definitely want to set your expectations mm -hmm. because anything takes time. And so even though we know what we like, we also have a lot of different balls That's up right. in the air, right? So we're not making any decisions in this season. We don't want to think that we're gonna just pull up a fifth wheel. <laughs> the next episode the is next like, hey, episode. look at the new fifth wheel. Wow! Not so we also, don't, we also didn't want to string you along as in like, oh my gosh, they must have bought a fifth wheel. Mm -hmm. We were there to understand what it is we liked, how much things were, and where we want to go in seasons to come. But for yep. right now, this little butte, Ginger, <laughs> is In fact, we've made around. some improvements to Ginger. So what you can expect is some upcoming videos on some of the repairs that we just did. Yes. And getting Ginger winter ready because we're headed off to New Mexico, Utah, and Colorado. Yes. And we got Ginger all set up to like handle this winter. So if we end up making a decision with going to a fifth wheel, it'll probably be something we do later. But mm -hmm. for right now, it's like uh, knowing what you want, but being grateful for what you have. Exactly. That's where we are, and we wanted to share that journey with you. All right. That's it for this weekend. Uh, if you like the video, give it a thumbs up, share, subscribe, all that good stuff, and we will catch you this time next weekend. Bye.